Okay, so now I'm going to talk about a project called the PERDS, the Public Invention Respiration Data Standard. Um, and uh, this is a, a literal standard which has both byte level and C level and JSON level bindings to it. And basically we did something that's simple and boring and incredibly important. We standardized the dimensional units and the accuracies and the way time is kept in keeping track of a respiration trace, okay? Now, doctors, even in Guatemala have said they don't wanna use a ventilator unless it shows them a respiration trace of what's going on in the patient because doctors can make all kinds of informed analysis of this. Normally that's a pressure curve and also a flow curve, but there, there's some other things in that, okay? Well, in, in, the, in May, what we were really doing with this was also allowing a standard by which teams could communicate respiration traces to each other so we had a standard and we had software for interpreting that standard and software for producing that standard, which allowed teams to potentially cooperate. I don't think very many did, but Jeff Mulligan in a minute is going to show you how we use the PERDs in a slightly different way, which was somewhat useful. So we uh, define all of these values and exactly the, the units and how they're used. Um, uh, Along and along with the help of medical doctors, and, and many medical doctors um, took time out of their day to assist not just us but the other technical teams who were working on this. And in particular, Dr. Eric Schultz uh, assisted Public Invention with this. But other um, organizations also had medical doctors on their their staff. Uh, we'll be hearing from some of them later. This, if you're a programmer, you'll understand this is a JSON binding of the uh, standard that we just produced. This is the C level binding. And so this is an actual Arduino library, which you can include in your code to produce this data. And this is the main result. Uh, so one thing that we did is we produced a piece of JavaScript code, which produces the respiration trace, which is critical to a clinical understanding. Now, this data was produced by the Ventmon, which Loria just talked about, rendered on a data lake, which Jeff is going to talk about, by software that I wrote. The, the Ventmon right now is not ready for clinical use, but a, an engineer who is testing a ventilator in a test lung, and of course, this is a test lung right here. This is a plastic test lung. Um, needs to know exactly the same thing that a doctor needs to know. But because we're producing open source systems, I, I hope it is the case that someday this code will actually be used by a different team um, to actually analyze respiration data, whether that's in a clinical situation or after, uh, after the treatment of the patient is done and it's used for research. Okay, because the input to this is the purge standard, um, it means that you could build up a library of these things and interchange them and talk about them. If someone doesn't like my software, which is completely reasonable, for example, um, if you want to build a ventilator, you might not want to use JavaScript. You might want a C-level thing. You can still interpret the same purge data because it's completely standardized. 